people really believe in simplicity and simplicity with music and the, how important that is and it really um, helps with taste in uh, bringing parts of a song out and da 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 but not for me. Uh, I mean, yes, there are, a there are cases where there are beautiful songs where it's a piano and a voice and it's amazing and yes, I think those are great. But in general, I really like when stuff is happening in a song where I'm like, what's that? What's that? What's that? Is that? What's that in the background? Oh, that's a cool rhythm there. What's that? That to me, that's, that's a fun listen uh, as opposed to something more generic where I've heard it a million times and who cares, you know? I don't think I would know what to do if I just was, if I just had to stand there. I don't even think I would enjoy it. In fact, during practice, there are parts when we're practicing where for maybe 10 minutes I won't be singing and I'll just be playing. And every time I say, oh my God, this is so much easier when you're just doing one or the other. Um, but there's something about the complexity of, of staying distracted by doing all those things that it's part of my personality. It's the way the songs are, it's the way I am. So like learning to sing and play and do it all at the same time and tap and all that stuff is, uh, you know, it is comfortable for me. It's not a struggle, it's fun. Future is your so build this party. Future is your so build this party. Future is your so build this party. And future is your so build this party. Hey! car music caters to the children and their kids songs and stuff I just had rock and roll always in the car from a very young age um, so just a lot of classic rock a lot of Bruce Springsteen Neil Young the Allman Brothers bands like that I was listening to a lot of post rock and a lot of noise rock and there was this band Don Caballero that I found that I liked that I listened to this was before the internet was really as accessible as it is now, you, there wasn't YouTube and stuff, and I found a video of them playing, and the guy, um, I could see, like, way in the back that he was using both his hands, but I couldn't really see specifically what he was doing, and it's more my nature, like, uh, to go about things the wrong way, so then I just looked at the guitar and took my two fingers and started trying it, and then I just taught myself how to do it. I probably would have been a much faster road to, you know, go the conventional route and take some lessons, but instead I did it the wrong way, which then helped me find my own style, and so it, it kind of worked out. But there are a lot, you know, technique-wise, that's why I feel insecure when people say that I play the guitar well, because I think I'm cr creative with the guitar, but. There are a lot of great guitar players. I don't I don't think I'm one of them. Things are kind of changing and uh, there's a homogenous energy of everything becoming more generic and more, uh, well, mute, well, playing an instrument was out of style for a bunch of years for the past, I don't know, it's just guitars mu is, music is just coming back into the indie rock scene because of the, you know, grunge re reemergence or whatever, but um, I was a I was a teenager in that time. I don't want to re, I don't want to redo what I already did. But um, anyway, uh, yeah. Uh, I guess being unorthodox, you, 
it's because you can't label it and everything is labeled now very clearly, I guess. Uh, and so the more unorthodox, the more unconventional, the more you don't know what to do with it, I guess. I guess. What do you think? 